I'm using my stab, to, uh, the middle one, to make some macaroni and cheese. Um, you guys, this boils water nice. I like these pots, these cast iron enamel pots, because they don't feel as heavy as other ones that I've used in the past, which is really nice. The coating on each of them is beautiful. Um, and I will just come back to show you what my beautiful macaroni and cheese looks like. This is a jack of all trades because you do have three stacked pots um, and you have your typical 5.5, 5.25 Dutch oven, um, quart Dutch oven. And then you have this beautiful thing, which is great for casseroles or um, or what have you. And then you have the griller top pan, which is absolutely beautiful. And so I'll show you pictures of those, but um, today I'm just gonna use the top, uh, the middle section to make some quick mac and cheese for my family. Um, I love these because you can put them in the oven as well. And so I will show you how that looks after it's done. Have Macaroni a great day. and cheese with some croutons on top is done. And it baked beautifully. Okay, so I just finished cleaning um, the stob, the middle piece. Um, I made macaroni and cheese in here yesterday, and I did have to let it soak overnight. Um, and there was, because it's enameled, I didn't have to worry about anything rusting or anything like that. But this thing cooked beautifully. It cleaned up really well. Um, I love the black um, enameled inside. Um, and like I said, this doesn't feel super, super heavy. It's heavy, but it's not as heavy as some of my other pieces that I've had um, from other lines. But this stop is, is done well. It cooks wonderful. It goes from stove top to oven with not any problems whatsoever. I literally boiled the noodles in here, drained them, um, left a little bit of the water in there, and then proceeded to mix all the cheese and the milks and eggs in here um, with my seasonings. And then I popped it in the oven and it baked. And I love this size because it also fits in my air fryer oven. Um, but, and that's with all three of them. And as you can see how deep that is, but yes, it made a beautiful, beautiful macaroni and cheese and it cleaned up really well. I just finished cleaning it. And as you can see, it left no residue behind. Super simple to clean, super easy to cook with. I highly recommend it. And you get, um, it's a four in one. So you get the lid and three cooking um, surfaces to use. One is the grill, one is the actual Dutch oven, and then you have this middle piece right here, which is perfect for casseroles and frying if you want to. Any, almost anything. If you want to bake a cake in here, this baby will do beautifully. And so that is the stop. I just wanted to show you what it looked like after using one of the pieces. Um, it, there was no flaw on the enamel whatsoever. And it's just really, really made well. So I highly recommend it. Have a great day. I hope this helps you make an informed decision. Bye.